Hey everybody, welcome back to Champion Sons, and we are here with our little Road to Glory mini-series following the senior season of Chase Champion to see if he can be good enough to make it to the NFL. And he is the quarterback of the North Texas Mean Green, and this is going to be a tough start to a season. Um, he's facing off against the number 10 Florida Gators at Ben Hill Griffin Stadium in Gainesville. This is one of the toughest places to play. So he decided, or we decided, let's start his senior season here and put him to the test. Now the Gators are coming in at number 10. They haven't had the greatest of seasons. Um, as of late, they generally start out highly ranked, uh, but fall off generally around the midpoint to ending of the season. This one, our school is getting paid a lot of money to be here. Uh, but we definitely have upset on our mind. We discussed what our schedule looked like in the first three games um, in the last episode. This is game number one. Probably one of the toughest tests outside of the Texas game um, in game number three. Now we are going to do two games per episode. So Texas will wait till the next episode. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into this one as we got an early turnover. Our defense stood up for themselves and gets a turnover and so we will take over with first and 10 and we drop off the first pass a little tiptoe into matt nunez for nine yards on the right sideline there beautiful little touch pass but great play by nunez to actually make the catch and they are going to be reviewing this one to see if he actually got both feet down as we look, and yeah, you know, he drags the right foot, but the left foot was down when the ball was in his hands. Great play by Nunez. Put the throw where only he could catch it or nobody was, and he comes through for us. And that's the kind of leadership that we needed out of a quarterback and that we want to see um, as see if he can transition to the NFL. But that kind of leadership, trusting your players and allowing them to make great plays is a big part of being successful. So now second and one coming out about the 10-yard line. We line up in an I formation. Pitch to the left. Holman goes forward with that one, and he's going to pick up just about a yard right there, but it does get a, give us enough for the first down. So we have got our uh, first and goal to go here um, at the nine-yard line for the first time of the season. Who would have figured we'd be in this situation in Florida? So coming to the line under center, I formation, two tight ends to the right. Chase has the snap, scans over, fires it quickly to Ham, who gets blasted. Steve Ham unable to make a catch on that one. Uh, tried to hold on to it, but he got a walloped coming over the middle, and that one does fall incomplete. So Chase is now one for two after the uh, incomplete pass. So second and goal here, Chase running the option, and he's going to take it himself into the end zone, Chase Champion. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. You see his stats through the air from last season, 4,100 yards, 40 touchdowns. Well, this season he's showing you he can run it as he gets the first touchdown on the ground. And so now with our very next drive, Florida trailing 7-3, Actually, we have the lead on Florida 7-3. He's going to find Steve Ham open this time on that little post pattern or corner pattern, and he's going to get it to him there. Beautiful drop that one in. Good route run, but well-timed out between Chase and his receivers, and that's going to be a big gain uh, to Ham down the right sideline and get us moving all the way to the 48-yard line here of the Gators. And now we're going to come out set with the first and 10 in a pistol formation, two tight ends. Holman in the backfield he gets the snap, hands it off to Holman to the right. Not a whole lot of space. Florida does have a very fast defense. They bring a lot of pressure, but they are fast. So whenever they go with the zone, we've just got to be sure to find those gaps in the zone. That's going to be the big key for us as we are under four minutes here in the first quarter. So second and 11, Chase, play action. He stands tall in the pocket, fires it over the middle. Ham is going to make the catch. Steve Ham, 29 yards down the field. What a pitch and catch on that one. Ham, great route run by him, but Chase put that ball on point, stood in the pocket, put it on point where only Ham was going to catch it, and he comes down with it at the 20-yard line as we are now in the red zone for the second time uh, in this game and in this quarter. 
So now we come out first and 10 at the 20 under center. Two tight ends. Play action once again. Fires it over the middle. Hand wide open. Touchdown, Mean Green. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. First touchdown on the ground. Second one through the air. Chase. He's playing like a man possessed. Now, Florida did score a touchdown on their next possession, so we are here in the second quarter. Eight minutes to go, and Chase finds Kennedy over the middle this time for 23 yards. Woo, baby, we have got this offense rolling in this one, as that was a big play right there. Chase is being confident, and that's surprising. I mean, seeing in this playing in this environment, like I said, it's a tough thing to do, but he is really overcoming this one. So 14-9 to nine is our lead. As we come set to the line, we're going to be in a shotgun formation, two tight ends. We send one in motion, and we're going to hand it off to Holman to the left side, and he's going to get forward for about a yard or so. Nothing too special on that run. But, hey, we got to give our guys a chance, give them a chance to make plays too. That's what we do, put our guys in the best position possible. And so now second and nine coming from about the 10-yard line here. Chase is going to be in a shotgun formation. Three receivers to the right. He gets the snap. It looks like they're running a screen. He drops it off for Ham, but Florida was all over that one, and Ham gets dropped for two-yard loss. He's got 66 yards receiving on the day, and that one is going to bring up a third and 11. Pressure got there a lot quicker than what we're used to seeing um, in the Conference USA, but, hey, that's what happens when you come to play the big boys um, in the SEC. So third and 11 now. And Chase is going to be in a shotgun. Same formation set. Three wide to the right, one to the left. And we're going with the screen pass again. And Holman's got it, but he can't make a man miss. Holman gets down after a gain of only four yards. And that's going to force us to kick a field goal as we now lead 17 to 9. Now, a little later in the second quarter, at about three and a half minute mark, Chase drops that one off to Kennedy over the field. He's got some distance going 24 yards to James Kennedy. The second pass play to Kennedy of over 20 yards here in this quarter alone. Finding that space in the zone. He's got great vision, and he's able to come through and put the ball on point. So leading 17-9, to we are on the move once again at about the 23-yard line here. As we send a man in motion, hand it off to Ginn up the middle. Ginn's going to pick up a good about four yards. Andrew Ginn with four yards on that one, his first rush of the season. Keep the defense guessing. That's what we have to do. Chase calling the, getting the play relayed out there in the huddle. And he hurries the guys to the line, and he comes set in a pistol formation. Really two running backs back there running the option, gets the pitch out to Holman, cuts it upfield, lower in his shoulder. Holman picks up five yards on that one. And that's going to bring up third and one. Good timing on that pitch by Chase. Those options can be brutal, though. He took a pretty hard hit there. So third and one is where we stand now here under two minutes ago in the second quarter. A little bit of play action. Chase stands up, fires it over the middle, and that one's deflected down. And that's going to make it fourth and one now here in this ballgame. Now we would uh, go for it and miss that, but get another turnover for a touchdown. So we lead 24 to nine. And we're now here in the second half going deep down the sideline. Ham, he's up and gets it. Breaks away and fighting off another tackler. Steve Ham all the way down to the 21-yard line. Chase Champion with 13 of 18 for 207 yards because of plays like that. It was a 50-50 ball all the way. He gave his man a chance, and Ham comes through with it and gets a big gain all the way down to the 21-yard line here. These mean green are playing outside of their minds right now. Under nine minutes to go in the third quarter. Leading 24 to nine. We are on the move. Chase in a shotgun formation. Hands it to Holman off to the right side. And they, there was a little gap, but they close it up pretty quickly. And that's going to make it second and nine now. Holman's got 11 uh, rushes for 38 yards on the day. So second and nine from the 20. We come back out with it. We're going to be in a uh, under center right now as we got two receivers in bunch to the right side. Play action, rolling out to the left, and he's going to be brought down for the sack. Chase just could not get away. The play developed too long, and this defensive line got to us. That's one downside is when you go with these play actions, 
if one blocker, you know, lets down on their job, the whole group gets free at that point. So third and 16, just trying to keep us in field goal range. Chase in a shotgun formation, has the snap. Scans over the field, drops it off to Ham, trying to make a play, and Ham goes up and over. Whoo, got an aerial on that one, picks up 12 yards, and that's going to bring up fourth and four. Now, we would go for it on a fourth down right there and not get it. So Florida took over, and our defense got another stop. Now on third and one, option keeper, Chase down the sideline, and you've got to be kidding me. He's at the 20, 10. He's out to the end zone for a touchdown. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. No one knew he had that kind of speed. Chase took off on the option keeper, and he gets us, extends our lead for a second touchdown on the ground in this game. Now we're going to advance up to the fourth quarter here, just at the start of it. And Chase is on the move once again. North Texas leading by two touchdowns, 31-17. to 17. The improbable is happening. The impossible is happening right now, thanks to what Chase has been able to perform done to, today in his performance. So second and three from about the 27-yard line. Chase comes out alone in a shotgun formation, has a snap. They bring a blitz. He goes running forward, breaks off one tackler, and is finally brought down after a gain of only two. They brought the blitz too quickly, and the play that we had called was too slow developing, um, so he had to take off with it, and he picks up a couple yards at least. So third and one now. We're going to come out four wide, three off to the right side with Holman in the backfield. As we get the snap play action, Chase stands in the pocket. They chase him down, and we're going to fumble it, but we recover. Strip sack on that one. That's about his fifth or sixth sack on the day. And he's getting hit back there quite a bit. And what a move, power move by Smith for Florida. And he just hit, nails us from behind. Strips the ball out, but we do recover it. And so that does bring up fourth and four. Now, Florida does... Uh, get another touchdown and force us to punt the ball to them. So here they are, 30 seconds remaining as North Texas leads 31-24, to and that first pass falls incomplete, and that brings up second and 10. Now Florida is all out of timeouts, okay? Their passing game is not what it was. Their quarterback is not that strong of a passer. He's thrown multiple interceptions in this one, so all of his production has come on the ground. But now we have forced him to be in a passing mode. Second and 10. He's going to find his man to the left side, and he's going to get hit. And I don't think he went out of bounds, though. Joe Ward makes that catch, and he did not. They're going to try to hurry to the line here. And just to spike it, 20 seconds remaining. The clock is now moving, and they still haven't snapped it, and they finally do. Florida will spike it with 16 seconds to go, and they got about 60 yards. No, 57, 58 yards to go. 16 seconds, 58 yards. Our defense needs to hold on. Florida has the snaps. They stay back. They finally drop it off to their man on the left side, and he doesn't get out of bounds. There's no way they get another snap off. Fields for the Gators makes a mistake and doesn't get out of bounds, and the clock is ticking away. One, zero, North Texas wins. Oh, my goodness. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. North Texas pulls off the impossible victory, the biggest upset in program history as we take out the Gators in Gainesville. Chase is a player of the game, 251 yards through the air, massive yardage on the ground, multiple to three touchdowns in total, um, two on the ground, one through the air. And there it is, a play of the game, Chase, given the North Texas mean green, the early lead. Putting the ball on point, made a lot of really good passes, end zones, able to read the defense. And, yeah, you see him take some hits. That's the toughness, though, of this kid right here to stay in and stand tall when he had to. North Texas wins against the number 10 Florida Gators. Never saw that coming. Did not think that would be possible, but we have pulled it off in this one. So we will start off the season 1-0, and Chase showing what he can do. And that's going to lead us to game number two here against Arizona. The I think they're the Wildcats, right? Yeah, they are top 20 team, 
Um, unexpectedly top 20 team coming into this one. Our first game at home. So I do think we should have a pretty good performance against this squad um, after what we just did to Florida. I know it was 31 to 24, but the game just wasn't even as close as the score made it seem. So, home opener here for Chase's senior season. This is a big time win uh, or game. We expected to get only one win out of the first three games going Florida, Arizona. Um, Texas, and in all reality, I thought that one win would probably come in this one, our home opener against Arizona, but we've already got that first one. Now, if we can just pile on win number two in this game and start out this season 2-0, and I think we will be making a statement to the country as well a statement for Chase to all the NFL scouts that will have to take notice um, if we can pull this one off. So let's get this game going now as we will start out trailing three to nothing. And after a big penalty forced us back on the kickoff, here we are trying to make a drive out of it. Chase running and he's going to fumble early. The first time we take off, Chase fumbles. Oh man, that is not good. That is not the way you want to start a game. And Arizona capitalizes and gets a touchdown, leading 10 to nothing now. So on our next drive, after the fumble, Chase trying to work him down the field here. Arizona's defense has been pretty tough to penetrate. Um, they're running some sort of they mix between a, a what is it a four two five, the nickel package and a three three five setup. Which Chase is it's hard to, is, is struggling to dissect that. So second and six, we're going to run an option. We get a pitch out to Ginn real quick, and he breaks some tackles, and Andrew Ginn picks up 14 yards right there. Chase saw the pressure coming and got the ball away quickly, and that's going to pick up a first down and get us down to the 23-yard line here as time is ticking away here at the bottom of the first quarter under three minutes to go. First and 10, we're under center. Send a man in motion. Play action. Pressure is coming. We get away from him. Find Ham coming across. Fighting forward. Ham's going to pick up 10 yards. Chase saw that pressure. That blitz almost got to him immediately before he could do anything, and he was able to roll out, make space, and make a play. That's one of the advantages he gives us. We saw that against Florida with what he could do with his feet. He needs to continue to trust his legs and kind of develop as being able to get outside the pocket a little bit. Now on second and inches, they're going to hand option keeper. It looked like we were going to hand that one off, but he keeps it, and that's going to get him across into the first down territory. So we will have a first and goal coming up at about the eight-yard line here against the Wildcats, trailing 10 to nothing, trying to get back into this one. A minute 40 seconds remaining in the first quarter. Jason a shotgun, has the snap. He's rolling out to his right. The lineman coming. He has to throw that one away. No one could get open. No one's finding space in those zones that they got, and they're spying Chase because they saw what he did last week to Florida. And so now they're spying him, so it's making it hard to get movement going. Second and goal under center. We send a tight end in motion. Toss it out to the left. They come through unblocked. Morris Holman goes down for a three-yard loss. Unblocked. Multiple tacklers coming through unblocked on that one. That's not a good sign. Our offense is looking discombobulated, if you will, here. And we are coming to the end of the first quarter. You'd like to think we would have had this figured out by now. Third and goal now. Chase drops back, scans over the field, fires it, and that's caught. No, Kennedy dropped it. He had it in his hands. Kennedy dropped that one. You've got to be kidding me. Now, after only producing a field goal right there, we are in the second quarter, trailing 10-3 to with another opportunity. Chase to the left side on the option, and he pitches it to Ginn for seven yards. Chase is holding on to it, reading the, reading the option play correctly. But, man, is he taking some hits. That is not a good sign to see your guy quarterback taking hits like that this early in the season. Second and three. little play action, and they get to him immediately coming off from unblocked, un untouched, unblocked. Everybody just ignored him. You see our guard come over too late, and Chase gets sacked. That's the kind of defense we're facing right now. It is tough 
movement, tough slugging going. So set third and nine here, three minutes to go in the second quarter. We send Ham in motion. Chase scrambles away from pressure, finds Ham down the left side for a big gain, 15 yards right there. He found him, and man, did he get that ball off at the last second. Pressure was coming. He's having a shift in the pocket quite a bit, but he's able to make that kind of throw, give himself the time, and make the throw necessary to keep this drive alive. All right. So now here we are, two and a half minutes after that big play with the first and ten chase under center, drops back, screen pass. They kind of read it, but Holman gets into some space anyways, and he's going to pick up four yards, and that makes it second and six. Morris Holman, it, man, it is tough go for all offensive players here right now. Needing to get a, If we can get a touchdown and to get this game tied up, that'll give us some momentum, but everything is just working against us. Chase does have 110 yards. Uh, but not being very potent. Now in the option keeper, Chase holds it and gets a late pitch there, and that one's only going to be picks up six yards. Matt Harris doesn't really gain anything extra versus what Chase would have gotten, but he does avoid the hit at least. And we still have a first down, right? So first and ten now. We come under center. A little bit of play action. Chase drops back. Rolling out to his right, no one there, and he's going to take off for it himself, and they push him out of bounds after a gain of nine yards. No one was there, and he, man, they were running some tight man coverage right there, and so we got free and were able to make something happen as we get the ball down to the six-yard line after a nine-yard gain. So now Chase is going to come out three wide under center once again. And he gets the snap, drops back, fires it to the left side. He's got Kennedy who couldn't fight forward. A dangerous little quick out pass um, on that, but he picks up the four yards needed. That's Kennedy's first reception on the day, but it does get us a first and goal. Under a minute here in the second quarter, trying to waste time down so we can get this touchdown. Chase drops back, throws an interception in the end zone. Oh, no. And that looks like, oh, it was. It was a big boy, number 99, dropped back in his own coverage. He makes the interception to end our drive. So the first half ends 10-3, to and now we're here in the third quarter here. Score remains 10-3. to Chase, play action, drops back, throws it to the right. Jackson's got it, breaking tackles, and gets down to about the 25-yard line. Patrick Jackson picks up 20 yards right there. He's got 89 on the day. Chase has got 17-22 for 172 yards. And the one interception, so no touchdowns thrown so far, as you can tell by our only three points on the scoreboard. So at the 25-yard line, we may have something moving. Our defense has played well, but we've got to repay their effort. As we come set in a pistol formation, as we get the snap option handed off, and probably should have kept it on that one, but they played it perfectly. The blitzer came through untouched. Once again, it seems to be a pattern that we're setting in this game. And we're stopped for a two-yard loss. So second and 12, push back to about the 27-yard line. We're going to come out under center, two tight ends to the right. We send one in motion across. We hand it to Holman. He's got a blocker. Holman goes forward and picks up six yards. Makes us more of a third and manageable. It is still third and seven, but Chase is going to have to come up with some magic here to keep this drive alive. We cannot win this game off field goals alone. Chase is going to come out in a shotgun formation. Five wide. Has a snap. Scans over. Fires it over the middle. That's intercepted again. The safety read it perfectly and came charging right as we threw it. John Lewis for Arizona makes the interception. That's number two on the day for Chase. And they only get a field goal, though, so I guess that's some reprieve. As we start out here in the fourth quarter, Trying to drive, make something happen. Every time we put a drive together, we have a turnover. Um, and we don't put any additional points on the board. We've got to stop that. So here we come out now. First and 10 after that pass play. We got 18 first downs on the day. We should be winning this game. Chase drops it off to Kennedy. Finally finds him over the middle. And he's going to pick up 11 yards on that reception. His fourth of the day for 41 yards total so first and 10 now at the 41 yard line here 
Nine minutes to go in this ballgame, trailing by 10. Chase under center, has a snap. They bring a blitz. He's rolling out to his right. He's got some space, but not enough, and throws it away as they take our legs out from under us. He has 194 yards and two interceptions. So Yardage-wise, not bad. Uh, the turnovers, those are poor, poor mistakes. Did not read the field correctly. Need to turn that around. We still have a chance in this one. Trailing by 10, Chase drops back. Fires it over to Ham, and on hindsight, we see now we had our man open on the right side, wide open all by himself. Missed that one. And he's, as I said, we're not reading the field correctly. Arizona has got us all confused in this game. Third and five now. Coming set at about the 36-yard line, chasing a shotgun formation. As the snap drops back. Waits for it, throws it, and Barry goes up for it. He goes high, sky high to get that interception. Chase helps to try to bring him down. And third interception of the game for Chase, and that one would result in another field goal. So now we're only trailing by 13 here, five minutes remaining in this game. Chase drops back, finds Ham off to the right side, finally gets it delivered to him for 21 yards. He has a first down and 57 yards in total for his day so far. If we we're only we're down by two scores, it's not impossible with the way college football works. We can still come back and win this one. We just have to play perfect. Is all that that amounts to. So first and ten, Chase under center, play action. They bring some pressure, drops back, and he's going to throw another interception to another Barry. You've got to be kidding me. He's taking it back, breaking tackles, and finally brought down our fourth interception on the day, fifth for the game total, and it did not get any better for us. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. Everybody has a game like that at some time, right? Everybody does. You just hate for it to be right now, especially coming off coming off a big win like we had against Florida. You hate to lay an egg like this um, against Arizona. But, man, did they ever demolish us. 30-3. to three, So, 1-1 one and one to start out the season on this one. Good performance against Florida, but big letdown by Chase. Completely not able to read the field here. Um, too many turnovers. The fumble, all the interceptions. You know, really got to step up his game. Looked like a good quarterback after game one. Now it looks like a freshman who doesn't know what he's – a 22-year-old freshman who doesn't know what he's doing when he's really a 22-year-old, basically, when he's a senior, he's going to be turning 22. Um, so Arizona, give them all the credit. They really had us fooled, so it is what it is. You know, you got to forget it and move on. And on that note, if y'all have not hit the subscribe button, definitely go ahead and do so. And if you did like today's video and you're geared up for Madden 23, go ahead and give us a thumbs up, because this series will carry over into that Madden 23 series when it comes out. And so thank you all for joining us. Thank you for all the support to the channel and um, all the things going on here at Champ and Sons. And I will see you all in the next episode, everybody. So as always, stay safe and well. Y'all know how it goes, right? Later, y'all.